We attended uh, IMX, which was in uh, January and February of this year. Well, prior to that, they stood up a thing called TF-59 over in Bahrain in the Middle East under Fifth Fleet. And they asked us, can we get some Mantis over there? And they gave us 10 days. So we made it over there September 9th, and these were for the grand opening. And then we sent over some other equipment. And from that, they said, hey, can we get a hold of one of your big devil rays? So we sent one of those over in November, another one in January, and then IMX came up, and we were very successful in that event. IMX, we had five boats. We had two double rays, the 38-footers, and then three of the 12-footers, T12s. So while we were over there, we did things like the standard ISR type stuff, uh, multi-vessel operations, uh, port and harbor security type things. Um, we did some high-value escorts. Uh, we did some what would be considered longer range, unmanned, truly unmanned, nobody's on the vessels, uh, boat to boat operations, boat to boat communications. One of the biggest things we did there, which was a very large success that nobody really planned on, is we integrated with all these different command system, control systems. So at one time we had a thing like the CCS, the military CCS system. Somebody autonomously ran a mission on one of our vessels from San Diego while it was in Bahrain, while simultaneously somebody else from this another company that ran this thing called Blue Hotel was operating the cameras. At the same time, a company named Andrel took control and they also ran missions. So that was actually the bigger event. It was not the vessels themselves, but it's what the capabilities are on a global level or almost like a cloud level or a communication level. It was very successful. Deploying the boats was interesting because they can be deployed from just about anywhere. So we deployed them, a lot of times we deployed them from shore, you know, ramps, shore stuff. Uh, we deployed them from some of the patrol craft. Uh, and we also deployed them for both American and uh, UK ships. So they were dropped over the side of ships very successfully, very quickly, and uh, were out doing their missions. All kinds of things going on from Martech. So in a few weeks, we shipped boats over to Australia in an uh, event called Autonomous Warrior 22. And over there, there are going to be two 38-foot boats and two 12-foot boats. Uh, we're going to do the thing we call nested dolls, which is when we have a 12-foot boat on the back of a 38. It'll go out to do a mission. The 12-foot boat will go off with nobody on it, by itself off the, off the 38-foot boat, go run a mission, come back onto the 38. 38 will come back. So it's a very interesting package. And on top of that, once again, multi-vessel. Vessels talking to each other, vessels talking to aerial equipment, vessels talking to underwater equipment, vessels talking to people. We have an event coming up called Coastal Trident 22. In that, we're gonna demonstrate a brand new anti-submarine warfare capability uh, with our partner, Mind Technologies, with MarTech. It's a passive sonar system, passive towed array that's going to be utilized for anti-submarine warfare. And you see it up here right now, we're partnering our Devil Ray T-24 with it. And it can be deployed anywhere from 20 meters long to 2,000 meters long. It has a series of passive collectors and you can take it out and put it out in the field. It'll pump back the data, high resolution data. I said, going to be utilized for anti-submarine warfare. They won't know we're there. We'll know they're there. So it's a good situation because the minute you go active with sonar, it's nice to have, but the minute you go active, they know you're there. So in this case, it's passive. They have no clue that we're there. The nice part about the devil rays, towing these, the devil rays don't generate. They generate very low noise levels. So it keeps a very clean signal for the towed array. The nice part about this is the towed array can be pulled at fairly fast speeds, whereas a a, a typical towed array that's active has to go slower, so that's what's nice about these. So you can cover a lot of area. The other thing about these is now you can put them in multiple devil rays and they'll all talk to each other. So now you can synchronize them, you have the fusion of that data, and you can use one vessel to, once a vessel picks it up, then another vessel can turn around and grab the same thing. And between the two vessels now, it's almost like an active, because now you start generating where that thing is. Very powerful technology, covers a lot of area very quickly. Right now, we have multiple U.S. military that are using the vessels. We have commercial entities in the U.S. using these. Uh, and country-wise, they are now in U.K., Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and working some other countries. Not to be named quite yet, but there's a lot of activity going on. 2022 is one heck of a year, so very good stuff.